Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we are going to discuss about the topic hike in petrol and diesel price. Whether it is a welfare measure as argued by government of India or it is an organized loot. The price of diesel or petrol is the sum total of crude oil price plus refining cost plus distribution cost plus government taxes. The taxes on petrol and its products are imposed on ad valorem basis. So what do you mean by ad valorem basis? That means taxes increase by value. That means if the value of a product increases, definitely the tax will increase. In the case of petrol and diesel, with increase in value of petrol and diesel, the tax that is excess duty imposed by central government as well as what that is value added tax imposed by state government increases so it is called ad valorem it is uh, so it is said that tax on petrol and its products are imposed on ad valorem basis both petrol and diesel are decontrolled in the year 2010 petrol was decontrolled and the year 2014 diesel was decontrolled so what do you mean by this pe uh, petrol and diesel are decontrolled? It means that the price of petrol as well as diesel is as per market mechanism. By market mechanism we mean based on demand and supply the price of petrol and diesel varies. That is with the variation in crude oil price petrol and diesel price either increases or decreases. So it is not controlled by government but it is by Variation in global crude oil price, the price of diesel and petrol are determined. Roughly 40% of the custom collections are from petroleum sector. Okay. Okay, you have seen a graph where you can note that there is a steep increase in petrol and diesel price. Okay. So it is actually the graph depicts uh from 26th march 2020 to 24th of june 2020 so during covid times actually uh, there was uh, it maintained as 69.59 rupees and 62.29 rupees but government steadily increased the excess duty you can also see the uh, price of crude oil price per barrel in dollars you can see that in 24 June 2020, the price is 43.41 dollars per barrel. So we know that actually uh, the crude oil price exceeds 100 dollars per barrel. During those days also, that the price of diesel and petrol was less than say, 80 rupees. Okay. So in the next slide, you can see um, how uh, the cost of crude oil. The customs and excess duty, state tax, as well as operational charges imposed on three different days. That is on the 31st December, 14th March, as well as 6th May. Okay, so when you look at 6th May, you can see that the cost of crude per liters is just 19.59 rupees. The custom or excess duty imposed by central government is 32.98 rupees the state tax that is value added tax is rupees 15.15 so what we can understand is the tax imposed by jointly by central government and state government is more than half more than double the price of the crude oil okay next we are going to two arguments that is first of all we are going to look at the government's argument why government increases excise duty of petrol and diesel you know during covid times government lost many of its uh, revenue because of uh, covid condition lockdown condition and but its expenditure has increased so it needs to cope up with government's revenue during covid times so government find it easy to impose excise duty on diesel and petrol to find uh, additional source of income. So government came forward with many welfare measures, for example, 
പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി ഗരീബ് കല്യാൺ യോജന ഇൻ ദിസ് പി എം ജി കെ വൈ യു നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് ടു നവംബർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി വെർ ഫൈവ് കിലോഗ്രാം ഓഫ് റൈസ് ആൻഡ് വീറ്റ് ആർ സപ്ലൈ ടു ദുവർ സിമിലർലി എം ജി നരേഖ ഹാസ് ഓൾസോ ബി എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് സോ ഗവൺമെന്റ് നീഡ് ടു പ്രൊവൈഡ് വേരിയസ് വെൽഫെയർ മെഷേഴ്സ് ടു ദുവർ but where is the source of revenue to provide this during the covid times there is a steep decrease in the revenue collection of the government of india so there is a every probability that there will be the fiscal deficit will exceed the limit that had been set for the year 2020 2021 you know that if the fiscal deficit increases it is definitely a burden on next generation okay suppose my father uh, take a loan for 10000 rupees and he find it difficult to pay back definitely that burden is on my uh, that's burden has been shifted to uh, myself so similarly if there is an increase in fiscal deficit what is happening that we have shifting that burden to next generation our next generation bears the burden that of increasing government expenditure uh, the next generation will bear the burden of government's expenditure okay so if there is an increase in fiscal deficit you uh, look the government will most probably borrow money from market then what will happen suppose in a market there is a pool of 1 lakh rupees if government borrows 50000 rupees what happen only 50000 rupees is remaining for private companies private investors private firms etc so what happened definitely there will be an increase in interest rate so if government borrow more from market what happens the private find it difficulty to borrow definitely there will be an increase in interest rate if there is an increase in interest rate it will affect all the section of the society next argument with respect to increase is it can be considered as a carbon tax carbon tax has been imposed by many countries so it is imposed to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide greenhouse gases etc so that we can uh, reduce the climate change issues okay so diesel and petrol due to the burning of petrol and diesel there is a large amount of carbon monoxide that has been uh, pumped to the atmosphere it is leading to air pollution and in turn resulting in climate change so it can be considered as a carbon tax which is progressive carbon tax is considered as, as a progressive tax okay we have discussed only the one side of the discussion this is just the one side of this discussion with regard to increase in excess duties okay we are moving to our next slide that is we have uh, studied in our previous slide that the price of petrol and diesel is decontrolled what does it mean the price of petrol and diesel is determined by global crude oil price but the question is if there is a decrease in crude oil price whether the customers in india get any benefits no it is because whenever there is a decrease in crude oil price the government slaps excess duties so government will be increasing excess duties for example if there is a decrease in crude oil price by rupees 10 government will impose excess duty by extra 10 rupees so in total there is no benefit that is transferred to the poor customers of this nation but what happens when the global crude oil price rises the burden is shifted to the consumers to the customers of india okay as per the data provided by a rating agency that is care ratings as on 6th may 2022 we can see that total tax that is excess duty of the central government and vat that is value added tax by imposed by state government is approximately 260 percentage on the base price of petrol so tax is 2 by 260 percentage on uh, compared to the base price of the petrol and with case to diesel the tax is 256 percentage on the base price of diesel so you can see how much tax has been imposed the level of tax that is imposed by government on uh, government on diesel as well as petrol okay then then now we are moving to the next uh, side of the argument that is 
actually every common man is feeling the pain of the increase in petrol and diesel price you know whenever there is an rise in petrol and diesel price there is an increase in transportation cost there is an increase in logistic cost what does uh, increase in transportation logistic cost results in definitely there will be increase in cost of production the cost of production of every product will increase then what will happen it will leads to inflation if there is inflation who will be affected every section of the society especially the downtrodden the weakest section the poorest of poor will be more affected when there is inflation okay so we see that there is a higher price when the crude oil price is low it can be considered as a loot because the benefit of reduction in crude oil price is not transferred to the customers of india okay the few may argue that actually the poorest of poor is not affected by it few argues that is middle class who is having uh, two wheelers and four wheelers are affected and for the poorest of poor uh, two wheeler or four wheeler is a luxury is argued by few but when you look at the increase, increase in inflation due to the uh, transportation and logistic cost you can understand that increase in inflation not only affected middle class it affects all the section of the society especially the poorest of poor then with regard to covid times you can see that public transport is restricted okay so most of them rely on private vehicle so if petrol and diesel price increases it is actually uh, adding more burden upon the people who have lost their livelihood their uh, who have lost their means of income okay then what happens is that there is a reduction in cash with the people suppose i have 100 rupees with me i spent 50 rupees for petrol and diesel now with the increase in petrol and diesel i spent 65 rupees then only 35 rupees is with me to spend on basic requirements that is with increase in petrol and diesel there is a reduction in cash with the people what happens if there is a reduction in cash with the people it results in low demand if it results in low demand that means automatically the growth will reduce okay then we have seen how uh, increase in petrol results in inflation if there is an inflation how rbi will respond reserve bank of india will increase the repo rate if there is an increase in repo rate what happens the interest rate will increase if there is an increase in interest rate definitely it affects all the section of the society so this is a, a one side of argument that is the petrol and diesel is indeed a burden upon the common people of india so we understand that government need more uh, tax revenue to reduce the fiscal deficit to um, to get, to provide uh, many uh, uh, welfare measures to the poor but still looking at a, a big picture of the indian economy it is better if government can, uh, reduce the excess duty so that we uh, the inflation can be controlled otherwise what will happen is that it will indeed takes indian economy to a more worse condition if government tries to impose additional burden on uh, in the uh, in the kind of excess duties that's all for today wish you all the best thank you